Ladies and gentlemen, President Trump has started his own social media site. It is official. Politico, Trump launches website to connect with followers on eve of big Facebook decision. Now, it's my opinion, and I've stated this a long t- for a great many videos and segments, that President Trump should simply communicate in terms of like information, nothing controversial, no social media beefs. If he toned down a little bit of his response to things, if he didn't give Democrats the ability to say, oh, look over there, don't look at all of the controversies and and problems and issues that aren't being reported on, or at least aren't being focused on by media. Look at Trump. He's a mon- he's a monster. He's a menace. He's a tyrant. He's a despot. He's an authoritarian. And we know from ancient Rome until today, all these horrible leaders use Twitter, and they were mean on social media, and they were mean on the internet. Trump is the antithesis of a tyrant. The antithesis. He signed prison reform legislation, and he removed Americans on May 1st, 2021. He negotiated a a deal to remove our presence from a region of the world that Biden and Kerry and Bush and Clinton and uh, morally superior Democrats and Republicans got us into. And so he's really the antithesis of this strong man. But his Twitter profile gave Democrats and media the ability to conjure up an image. The public relations battle President Trump lost. And he kept doubling down on, okay, I'm tough, I'm going to fight back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show them that I don't care what they think. We, we already knew that going into 2017 and 2018. By 2019, and especially last year, he didn't have to. Well, I mean, that if if he just simply uses this site and this social media site that he's created, this platform, to communicate, and that's it. Wonderful, absolutely brilliant, fantastic. He doesn't need Facebook, and he certainly doesn't need Twitter, and he he should never get on Facebook, even if they say, "Yeah, go ahead, but get back on." They'll probably do something like, "Well." There's a probation period where he can he can get on, but if he makes one wrong move, we're kicking him off indefinitely. Like, you don't need Facebook. Facebook ads didn't swing 2016. So you have to be a complete imbecile to believe that. You have to be the most gullible, um, ignorant person, a person who knows nothing about history to just blindly trust clandestine and shadowy intelligence agencies that haven't been have never been right on a major issue from the Bay of Pigs to the Gulf of Tonkin WMD and now Facebook ads and now everything that is detrimental to Democrats Russia wants so they they hide or cover up any like issue Hunter Biden's emails which you know were right there how can you use your influence on behalf of the company and I give 10% to the big man, meaning his father. It's not, there's nothing tinfoil hat about it. It's his email. It's right. The New York Post published all his email, or a great many of his emails. You can see that. So, see, again, they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about what's going, de- what's, what's going down in numerous, pertaining to numerous issues and problems and dilemmas we still face as a country that are worse now than during President Trump's administration. The border is is an example, a a prime example of something that's worse now. It's a humanitarian crisis that Democrats suddenly, AOC suddenly doesn't care anymore. Isn't that interesting? Maybe they were all utilizing fabricated emotion just to, to harm Trump. But hit subscribe to this channel right now. Get this segment going if you want to read my writing on The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist. Go to hagoodman.com. You can see my debates there to my new Patreons. Thank you so very much. The president has teased the new communications platform with the new site. Uh, okay, so the new site looks more like a blog. That's good. This is Politico. President Donald Trump on Tuesday launched a new way to communicate with his followers on the eve 
of a decision by Facebook's oversight board about whether to allow him back on the platform. The posts that appear on the site thus far largely appear to be a collection of press release statements he has issued in recent days via his other channels. Okay, it's titled, From the Desk of Donald J. Trump. Good. Let it just be a one-way communication platform. He does not need... You do not... President Trump does not need to get retweeted. You don't need to get on like it, it's social media is the most is the most useless vapid. It doesn't add anything to your life other than I'll, I'll say the only thing good about Facebook is reconnecting with people that you you ha, you've lost track you lost touch with. So people who are dear to you or important to you you can reconnect with them sometimes via Facebook. But other than that there's nothing like there's no reason to converse or discuss anything contentious whether it's politics or sports or anything with a person you don't know in on the other side of the city or on the other side of the world that you will never meet there's no reason to do that it is a waste of time life is precious life is short you are wasting time on Twitter and Facebook, if you're still on there. I, I deleted my Twitter and Facebook accounts three years ago. But there's, like, no reason to be on Twitter or Facebook. But here, Trump launches his own, this is the Washington Examiner, his own communications platform months after indefinite bans from Facebook and Twitter. Former President Donald Trump has launched his own communications platform, allowing him to speak directly to followers after months of being banned on, on popular social media platforms. They also think, like, Democrats and media also think this will disgrace him. He's disgraced. They're, they've banned him from social media. My God, he must be a real, you know, problem. We're going to show everyone he's a real problem. No, like, 74 million Americans don't think that way. <laughs> they know exactly what's going on. They didn't, they didn't ban people who, who, who make really egregious and horrible statements on the left. But they banned President Trump, even though in a court of law, you could never accuse Trump of fomenting what took place on the 6th of January. You couldn't, you couldn't, um, you couldn't accuse him in a court of law, charge him or indict him. Yet, these social media sites are like, oh, well, we have to stop him from communicating uh, because you never know what Trump, what what volatile supporters of Trump can do. Meanwhile, there's one to two billion dollars in property damage from left-leaning advocates, according to Wikipedia. And 19 lives lost. Infinitely worse. Infinitely worse than what they tried to say Trump caused. Infinitely worse. But that is something that just isn't addressed. By media, just does it almost like it, it's almost like it didn't happen. There's this, there's this desire to create a history that doesn't exist. So, the sixth several months ago is like the eleventh, twenty years ago in September. That's exactly how Democrats and media try to portray it. They try to portray it like that. Everything now is, well, you can look back at this time period, and it's like, you're not going to recre- recreate. You're not going to recreate time periods. This, this new world we live in, where... <laughs> this new world we live in is nothing absolutely nothing like the 60s absolutely nothing like the 40s absolutely nothing like other time periods where you can say there's good versus evil because only one side is presiding over to one to two billion dollars in property damage only one side forces business owners of all backgrounds and ethnicities to 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 board up their windows and it's not the it's not the maniac trumpers but again you have a public relations battle that president trump lost and it was because he he fell for a trap they need a boogeyman they need to, they needed to paint trump as 
a person that justifies all of their corruption. Well, you know, they even think Trump is worse than Bush, which tells them, which shows everything you need to know about what they think about war and counterinsurgency conflicts and traumatic brain injuries and PTSD and all the horrors associated and the 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 absolutely tragic and devastating consequences of Bush and Cheney and Rumsfeld's and Clinton's and Biden's decision for to get us into these never-ending conflicts. Well, well, Trump was worse. That doesn't mean, uh, you know, yeah, Bush was bad, but Trump was worse. Really? He was worse? <laughs> that, that's, that's an indication, that's an admission that your life revolves around media coverage. Media was completely different during the Bush years. Media changed. It, it really didn't, it was almost impartial. Actually, basically siding with President Bush oftentimes in the beginning of his tenure. Then media became sided with President Obama. Then media turned on Trump and sided with either Republicans or especially Democrats who oppose Trump. Oppose. I oppose. I, I know people who are like, I oppose your mentality. It's like, why would I care? <laughs> okay, you oppose my mentality. So, what? What do I care? Okay. Why would I, why would I care what... <laughs> Like, if you oppose based on logic and reason, fine, let's get into a debate. But if you oppose, you oppose because you think that this is the, the, the 40s and you are on the side of, you know, truth, you're, 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 you're kidding yourself. And you're, you, you have a screw loose also. But that's, that's the way apoplectic. And, and that's, that's the thing. That's social media there. That's the internet there. That's media and, and public relations. But President Trump, the new site is from the desk of Donald J. Trump. And he needs to just give information, lay low. There should not be any back and forth. Like 74 million Americans don't need to do what the tens of millions of of, of uh, Democrats or people who voted for Biden, 80 million or whatever, don't need to get on Twitter. I mean, most uh, a small, very small percentage of people in the United States get like are active on Twitter when it comes to politics. But our entire political, you know, all of political media is focused on that, you know, completely backwards and destructive and detrimental platform. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you.